the Canadian right wants to remain relevant, it has to broaden its base. One of their unlikely targets of opportunity has become the LGBTQ community. And, well, after learning I'd recently become a gay icon, I decided to see how the Conservatives plan on courting a group they've spent decades ostracizing. We've evolved on homosexuality uh -huh. ever since we discovered that our position on the marriage debate had become unelectable. Sure. But are right-wing leaders doing anything tangible? I mean, other than coming up with more plausible excuses not to attend pride parades? We have a tried and true method of switching people to our team. It's called conversion therapy. Wait, we're, we're still doing that? Yes. Amazingly, it's still legal in most provinces. Really? The efficacy of conversion therapy has been universally disproved. But Matthew is adapting the method for changing sexual orientation to focus more on political orientation, converting gay men to vote conservative. Gay men are statistically higher income earners and less likely to have children. So why should they care about welfare or uh, universal child care or whatever perversions the left is peddling? Okay, well, that's not true. I mean, the LGBTQ community is very diverse. Oh, yes. they're, they're passionate about social justice, women's rights, intersectionality. Oh, and to be clear, we're only focusing on the G part of the acronym. Demonizing women issues is step one in our liberal aversion therapy. No problem. Yep. I had to see for myself how Metamorphosis Cove was transposing their techniques to political conversions. The outdated pseudoscientific nice. methods ranged from ineffective... You believe Quebec is right about the niqab. ...to horrifying. <laughs> like the electroshocks I received to make me associate reading salon think pieces on race relations with searing pain. <laughs> or their attempts to rid me of my beliefs in Keynesian economic theory. But while this new form of conversion is just as ineffective and dangerous as the ex-gay movement, there was one positive that came out of this horrifying experience. Meeting like-minded people with shared values and desires. Like Kevin, my environmentalist roommate. Together we're organizing a grassroots effort to stop the Trans Mountain Pipeline. For the Beaverton, I'm Donovan Stinson. And for more misinformation 24-7, visit thebeaverton.com.